I'm Thomas Paquette, and I have a show at the Groblin Art Gallery of paintings from the North and various places. The title of the show is From the North. Mostly I paint nature as it is, without uh, humanity's interference or much of what we do in the landscape because uh, I, I, I feel that the earth needs to be celebrated um, as it is. Um, and being a naturalist in, inside as well, I feel that it's important to pay attention to the landscape. But there are things that show up in my paintings from power lines to roads and sometimes buildings and this and that and the other thing. But um, they generally don't interest me that much because I find them um, kind of un, un, well, relentlessly geometric and I, I, my works tend to be organic. They tend to grow out of paint and it, it, uh, I find that uh, painting the landscape as you find it in nature with minimal impact from human beings is, is my favorite subject matter. I used to be more of a plein air painter. I would try to paint and finish paintings outdoors, but I realized that the way light changes and clouds happen and mosquitoes happen, it was more distraction than I needed. And besides that, my paintings are often on the easel for months. I have paintings that have been on the easel off and on over decades. So uh, painting them all plain air doesn't work. But what I do do when I'm outside uh, is uh, gouache paintings. And those two are often almost always completed indoors back in my studio. Um, and uh, my little paintings, I used to do those on site as well, but Again, they never got done in much time, or they took a long, very long time to complete. But in the meantime, I've taken those studies into the studio and developed um, ways to rethink how, um, how to replicate in my um, mind's eye, basically, what I was experiencing. So it isn't like a photographic replication. And so here's an example of how I moved through some ideas with um, going from a tonal study to then I did one that was more or less, uh, more of what people think of as normal coloration um, to amping up the color intensity and then shifting the color over us, doing, playing through all these things and thinking, what do I want to have come through in the final larger painting? And um, I think of these not as sketches or anything like that because I dedicate a lot of time to those as well. So these are independent paintings that support sometimes a larger painting. And I'm happy to put those in the show because it gives people an idea how I get to the final painting. Because underneath all of these paintings are some pretty wild colors. In fact, normally uh, it would probably more likely resemble something like that where the color scheme is, is incredibly different from what you see on the finished canvas. Sometimes the paint comes through from the bottom and you can see it, but oftentimes it just gets covered over and um, it's like uh, geology itself. It's just kind of down there in the layers. When I go out to look for paintings, I usually have an idea of where I'll be and what sorts of things I'm looking to find. And that's, uh, so I, I don't know what I'm gonna find. And that's the beauty of um, the artistic uh, inclination is to be able to spot something that you hadn't seen before. Art, Art brings um, brings that to our lives. It's it's there to surprise us. So I'm looking for something I don't know what I'm what it is. Even when I know that I'm going to an area to paint, for instance, the Mississippi River. I mean, what does that entail? Lots of things. And um, I also went to the North Shore and was uh, looking for subjects. But it, I'll tell you, I might not have come here to that spot and wanted to paint that if it weren't for these clouds doing this thing. Um, so every moment gives its own um, inspiration. And sometimes I find what I want to paint and other times um, I suspect it was there a minute ago or two days ago and now the leaves are piled up or, you know, there are different things that go on that change a scene and make it um, more apt or less apt to be a painting. So I never know what I'm gonna find. Um, I do like going out with an idea of where I'll be, but Usually my paintings come to me when it's more of a random, I need to paint that. And I don't know what inspires that moment. I think that's what the paintings are about for any artist.